came out about an hour ago that says we are now tied 35. Woo! <laughs> race mentality. They always, they always want to get down to process questions and they always say to me, so what are you going to do next? Now remember, when Plus and I first announced, uh, we were, it was explained to us in June and July by the establishment that we were dead. Uh, we then came back and by December running a totally positive campaign with almost no money, we were 12 points ahead nationally on Gallup. That's right. Woo! Romney then decided that the only way to stop me was a three and a half million dollar negative campaign. Yeah. We then we then came back from that and beat him in South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. And the New York Times has now reported that uh, the Sunday morning after we won South Carolina, the Romney team got together and said, "Look, we either destroy Gingrich or we can't win." So they've now spent seventeen and a half million dollars on falsehoods. That's right. Now, when I say falsehoods. I mean that both the Wall Street Journal and the National Review have said what Romney's been saying about me leaving the Congress is false. Right. right. Yes. You just saw one of our dear friends, Michael Reagan, who's yeah, here Michael. campaigning, yeah. because he understands yeah. that what Romney said about Reagan and me was false. That's right. right. And in fact, I always thought it ironic. Here's a guy who, in the 80s, was an independent. Yeah. In 1992, voted in the Democratic primary for Paul Songus, the most liberal candidate, and gave money to three Democratic candidates for Congress, and he is questioning my credentials? Yeah. It just tells you how out of touch with, with honesty that Mitt Romney is capable of being, and that's why I was so glad that Michael Reagan is flying around. You just saw one of the great grassroots populist conservatives in the country introduce me, and Herman Cain. Yeah. about folks who have great talent. I had asked Governor Rick Perry when he announced that he was going to endorse me. I called and I asked if he would chair a project to take the Tenth Amendment, develop the strongest possible Republican platform plank for the summer, and then develop a model bill that we would put in the contract this fall to try to pass it early next year to take power out of Washington and bring it back home. To yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. I've been working with Herman as early as the fight against Hillary Care, and then worked with Herman when I was speaker on issues of tax reform, knowing his background as a business leader who actually ran a company. Yeah. Not just an investor, but a guy who actually ran a company and actually made it work. I've asked Herman to help chair a project on jobs, economic growth, and tax reform, which he has agreed to do as part of developing a new set of ideas to have a better future. Now, yeah. I also know, I'll tell you up front, he's going to walk in the room, and I'll bet every one of you knows what plan he's going to put on the table. <laughs> right. well, why don't you make him happy? What, what's the name of the plan he's going to have? Nine, nine, nine! Now, you just made Herman's entire day. <laughs> so, let's talk about where we are and what's going on. This is the most important election, I think, in our lifetime. Re-electing Barack Obama will be a disaster of the first order yep. and will permanently weaken this country. And therefore, we have to defeat him. Yes. Period. Yes. And the question is, who could best defeat him? You're getting the idea, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> There are practical reasons. Look, we nominated a modern in 1996, and he lost. We nominated a modern in 2008, and he lost. Mitt Romney's more liberal than either of those candidates. Right. And we had two articles in the last 24 hours, one in the Wall Street Journal, uh, and the other by, by Betsy McCoy, the former lieutenant governor of New York, both saying, here's exactly how parallel Romney care and Obama care are. How do you debate when it's this close? Now, I'm a Reagan conservative. Yeah. Obama, Obama is a Saul Alinsky radical. Now, that is enough distance. We can have a really good debate. Yeah. Let yeah. yeah. I me mean, talk about a couple of very current things to give you a sense of how different we're going to be. 
Chris and I were at Mass last night, and I believe in every Catholic church in the country. They are reading a letter about the Obama administration's attack on Christianity. Yes. And they're using very strong language. They are. Because this is a fundamental assault on the right of freedom of religion. Right. Now, let me be clear. Our Declaration of Independence says we are endowed by our Creator yes. with certain unalienable rights. Right. Yes. Now, they're unalienable. That means no politician, no judge, no bureaucrat can come between you and God. Right. No. Thank you. Amen. So I want to promise you, if you help me win the nomination and then you help me win the election. We will. Yes. Yeah. The very first day I'm inaugurated, I will sign an executive order repealing every Obama attack on religion across the entire world.